in this video I'm going to show you how to use the quadratic formula uh, to solve the quadratic equation obviously so this is an equation and uh, you want to write your answer in the third form okay I'll explain the third form when it comes so here the question is y is equal to 3x squared minus 5x minus 4 now what's the quadratic formula okay so let me write the quadratic formula the quadratic formula is like this x is equal to <coughs> minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. <coughs> now we can prove this formula but uh, that's not what we are looking for. We want to use this formula uh, to solve this equation. Now the first thing when you when you use the quadratic formula is to write what is a, what is b and what is c. Now, a is the coefficient of x squared, so this is your a, okay, so you can see, and b is the coefficient of x, so here the coefficient of x is not 5 plus or minus, but minus 5, so this is your b, and what is your c, c is negative 4, so let me write, let me write it again, this is your c, it's always good to write, a is 3, b is negative 5 and c is negative 4 and then you have to simply substitute in this and you will get the answer okay so x is minus b now you can use your logic now stop for a while b is negative 5 so negative b would be plus 5 so plus 5 plus or minus square root of b squared so negative 5 squared is 25 minus let me write the whole thing minus 4 times a what is a a is 3 times c which is negative 4 over 2 times a which is 2 times 3 so x is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of this is 25 this these this is negative times negative makes positive 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 times 4 is 48 okay we'll check this on a graphic calculator over 6 okay so here x is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 plus 48 okay so this is uh, 73 if I'm not wrong yeah it's a plus plus or minus 73 over 6 so what does this mean? This means x is equal to 5 plus square root of 73 divided by 6. That's one root. And the other root is 5 minus square root of 73 over 6. Now this is called the third form. This is the most exact form. Or this is the most complete form because this is, this is called the third form. Okay. So these are the two roots. So how will we check on the calculator? Get a calculator out. So menu. So this is phi. I put this in the bracket. Phi plus root 73 divided by 6. That's one root, 2.25. And the other root is bracket phi minus uh, root 73 divided by 6. Okay, that's minus 0 0.59. So, uh, to check this, remember this, 2.25 or 2.26. So, let me write 2.26 and 0 0.6, 0 0.59. So, x, if you want to write in a 2.26, if I remember right. And this is 0 0.59. This is in 2 dp. Both of them are in 2 dp. So, this is also 2 dp. Now, in the exam, if you're allowed a graphic calculator, if you have a graphic calculator, you can check this on a graphic calculator like this. Go to menu, go to equation. Where is my equation? Yeah. So scroll up. So this is my equation. Then you go to polynomial, and it's second degree. So your coefficient A was 3, B is negative 5. And C is negative 4. 
x y and then solve it so this is 2.26 and negative 0 0.59 now what does this mean graphically if you go to graph and type in this equation that was 3x squared minus 5x minus sorry 5x minus 4 okay so let us graph it so this these are the roots okay this and this are the roots so you go g solve and root so this is a negative root negative 0 0.59 and if you press this you get 2.26 hopefully you understood what it means to solve in a uh, or solve using the quadratic formula see you in the next video